Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If I had a video that was my number one requested video to do, this would be that. I have had so many of you ask me for product recommendations for hyperpigmentation and dark spots. I mostly struggle with dark spots and dull, uneven skin from post-acne hyperpigmentation, but I've also struggled with sunspots before from where I wasn't as consistent as I needed to be with sunscreen. So I wanted to make this video to not only give some product recommendations, but to also give some advice that personally worked for me when correcting some of my hyperpigmentation and dark spots. In my opinion, there is not one fix for dark spots and hyperpigmentation. It is a combination of things including consistency and also patience to help correct dark spots because they have to be one of the most stubborn things that I have seen to get rid of. You'll deal with the battle with acne, you'll get through it, and then it seems like that's when the worst part happens because post acne hyperpigmentation pigmentation can take months to get rid of. I am still struggling with it. It is still something that I am working on and I have my good and bad days with it. There are some days where I just don't like it. Most days I get frustrated with it. I've learned that there are some instant corrections to at least help myself feel better like BB creams, like skin tints. But this video is more focused on the products and the techniques I have used to remain consistent and help fade my dark spots, which is still a work in progress. I'm not a skincare expert, this video is coming from just my point of view of using products and my own personal experience with hyperpigmentation and dark spots. And I want to start off with a couple of tips. First of all, I said that you need to remain consistent and patient. When I said that, I meant it because hyperpigmentation is not something that's going to correct in a week. It may not even correct in a month. It is something that you will see more over time and you need to be patient with your skin. Do not over exfoliate your skin. Do not under moisturize your skin. I've learned through personal experience that if I am nourishing my skin the way it needs, my hyperpigmentation will become less visible. It seems like it is more visible when my skin is dry. So it is important to get the correct nourishment to your skin. And I will touch on that a little bit later in this video. Additionally, my biggest recommendation is sunscreen. I have written here on my video note, sunscreen, 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 because that is the best way way to prevent future hyperpigmentation from coming up on your skin. I used to not be as consistent with reapplication of sunscreen, and when it comes to recommendations for sunscreens, I would recommend to go with the one that works personally best for you that you will want to reapply the most. There is not one perfect universal sunscreen. I feel like it is more of just what works best for you and what you will be most consistent with when it comes to sunscreen application. For me personally, that is going in with the Round Lab sunscreen or a Korean chemical sunscreen as the base layer of application. If I'm still at home or I have access to it, I will reapply with that sunscreen. Or if I'm out, I will use a sun stick to reapply my sunscreen. That is how I have found to be most consistent with my sunscreen application. Definitely try out some different things, feel around and find what's best for you because that's the best routine you can keep is one that works for you and one that you can be consistent with. I'm going to now move into products that have personally worked great for me and my current favorite ones to combat dark spots and hyperpigmentation. This is my list that I have come up with for the moment. It's bound to change and also I'm likely to forget something so please leave in the comments what you personally do to help combat your hyperpigmentation and your personal favorite products to help with that. I'm sharing mine and I would love to hear yours as well. So let's go ahead and dive into the best overall product in my opinion which is one that I've tried recently but since I have used it, I have seen wonderful results with it. I'm going to make a video talking about it in short form content, but the Remedy for Dark Spots is one of the most impressive dark spot serums I have seen on the market, combining not only mandelic acid, but retinol together, along with tranexamic acid, kojic acid, and amazing brightening ingredients. But yet, it's not too much, at least in my opinion. Definitely is more of a product for the more experienced active user. So if you 
you are newer to using retinol or mandelic acid, definitely don't start out with a product like this. But if you are newer to actives and wanting to go for this product, start out once a week. I would still recommend using other products to build up to it, like more gentle retinols and more gentle chemical exfoliants. Definitely start out once a week with this product and build up from there. With retinol and mandelic acid combined, it's something I usually don't see a lot in skincare. But since they formulated this product together and combined these ingredients in the formula, I feel like it was a well thought out product. I've seen great results with dark spots. If you're wanting a one-stop shop with everything, I feel like this is the way to go. It definitely has the most coverage for the amount that you get. Next, I'm going to break it down into gentle chemical exfoliants. If you're just wanting to take a simple route with that, currently loving the Edom Cashmere Peel because it has gentle AHAs and also PHAs in it. This product has a little bit more of a complex of ingredients such as rice water and amazing soothing ingredients to help combat the actives that are in it to make it a very gentle product. Other than initial stinging and sensitivity, I didn't notice any long-term sensitivity with it and with continuing continued use of using it once every other day, I felt like it was very effective at combating dark spots, combating texture, and working to correct some of my hyperpigmentation. Results usually take longer to show with products like these, but I have been using it for about a month and it has been showing some results. If you're wanting a more simple option with light fruit exfoliants as well, along with a gentle complex of chemical exfoliants, I would recommend the Polish Choice Mandelic Acid and Lactic Acid Toner. This this has to be one of the most gentle products I've tried and honestly one of my favorites because it is just straight to the point. If you're not wanting that milky texture that the Edom has, you could go for this product because it's just a very simple lightweight toner. It's effective. I've used this product for longer and it seemed to do a really amazing job at lightening some hyperpigmentation. And also I wanted to put an affordable option in here as well that's available at the drugstore which is the Bioma Brightening Toner. This product has one of the best list of ingredients in it for the price point. It was a little bit sensitizing to the skin, but you could go in with it a little bit less often if you experience some sensitivity. And when it comes to amazing results, I really saw that with the Bioma Toner. Random side note about this product, but one of my family members who has mature skin loves this product and has used it consistently and has seen great results with dark spots and also dry skin. So I have actually seen this product working and it works for all skin types, all skin ages. No matter what, I feel like this is the best option when it comes to affordability. Just definitely follow it with a richer moisturizer because it is a pretty intense active. If you do prefer a more moisturizing and gentle texture to a brightening product, I usually don't recommend moisturizers because I like to save my actives for the middle of my skincare routine. I like to go in with a simple cleanser, a simple moisturizer, and then do my active and treatments in the middle. That's just personally what works great for me. But if you do prefer a vitamin C or corrective moisturizer, my favorite one is the Dr. Idris moisturizer. I've actually found that I can combine this with other actives, but if you are more sensitive, I'm not sure I would recommend that. This is one of the options that I really feel like is worth the money. And it's the only vitamin C moisturizer that I'm going to highlight because it seemed to be one of the most gentle that I have tried. It's super easy to dispense. It's a gel cream, so it is perfect for the summertime. If you are more dry, you could layer this product and view it as a very moisturizing, brightening product because there's really no rules with it. You don't have to use it as a sole moisturizer. You can use it as a hydrating treatment as well. Dr. Idris has amazing brightening products, and this is the only one I've tried at the moment. Definitely need to try out the rest of this line because you all have been recommending it. I have two options for vitamin C serums that I have have actually seen results with and both of these are different price points and have very different textures. I really, really enjoyed the Paula's Choice Vitamin C Serum. It is a higher concentration of vitamin C, but I found it was a very beautiful formula. This had a moisturizing texture and even though it does have that higher concentration of vitamin C, I didn't personally experience any sensitivity with it and I found I was able to use it twice a day. Definitely go off your skin tolerance and build up with it but since it has a moisturizing texture it kind of expands the fact that I was saying about keeping your skin moisturized and it was a very gentle well formulated vitamin c serum that is 
worth the steep price point in my opinion. If you are more of a fan of a lighter weight vitamin C serum that has a great price point attached to it, the Prequel Lucent C is my go-to product. It is just an amazing vitamin C serum. It's simple, it's effective, it has ferulic acid in it, and it also is an alternative to the more expensive skin cuticles that cost like a hundred something dollars and has a wonderful formula attached to it. Just a quick disclaimer about this product though, does oxidize rather quickly within the first two to three months. So definitely make sure if you purchase it to use it up right away because it can oxidize. This has to be the most lightweight yet effective vitamin C serums I have tried. I love both this and the Polish Choice for different reasons and they are my go-to vitamin C. The final topic I want to talk about in this video is the importance of barrier health and skin barrier support when you are combating hyperpigmentation. Especially with me and my sunspots I've had in the past, I noticed I wasn't using enough barrier strengthening products. All of these products are very affordable that I am going to recommend. If you've watched me, you know this is very obvious. The Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Serum has one of the best barrier complexes I have seen in a product. I've seen so many dermatologists and cosmetic chemists raving about this product because it has such a wonderful formula attached to it and I completely understand why because this is just a beautiful serum. That is my go-to right now. I'm currently using that non-stop but the Stradia Lipid Gold is another great option for skin barrier support. Even though these products don't have a vitamin C or a chemical exfoliant in them, they still have amazing ingredients to help support the skin barrier which I have noticed in my experience has helped brighten up the appearance of my skin and helped with some hyperpigmentation as well. I would also recommend the Cococine Ceramide Barrier Repair Serum. This is something I don't talk about enough and I need to talk about it more because this is just a beautiful complex. I feel like this has wonderful ingredients to support your skin barrier and will also help significantly with hyperpigmentation. Please let me know what products you are currently loving right now, what products have personally worked to help lighten your hyperpigmentation and to help correct your dark spots. I'm always looking for new recommendations for products to try and videos that you're wanting me to touch on in the future. Just let me know some content that you want to see from me and also what products you're loving right now. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.